Novelist Clive Custler wrote wildly popular tales of adventure set around the world. His dashing hero, Dirk Pitt, explored sunken ships, climbed mountains, and fought off villains, while saving a smile for numerous leading ladies. Custler's stories cried out to be made into films, but the process didn't always go smoothly, as we see in Custler vs. Crusader Entertainment. Movie producer Crusader Entertainment wanted to produce a series of films of Clive Custler's Dirk Pitt novels. Custler and Crusader entered into an agreement under which Crusader would produce a film of the novel Sahara and a second novel to be chosen later, with an option for a third film in the future. Before the contract was signed, Custler had approved a screenplay for Sahara. Under the contract, Crusader couldn't change the approved screenplay, quote, without Custler's written approval exercisable in his sole and absolute discretion, unquote. After the contract was signed, Crusader tried to change the screenplay. Custler refused to approve any of the many screenplays submitted to him, even throwing one suggested screenplay in the garbage. Custler instead started writing his own screenplay. Custler wasn't a member of the Writers Guild, and Crusader worried that this would violate its contract with the Guild. Crusader asked Custler to stop writing screenplays, but Custler refused. Hearing that Custler was difficult to work with, screenwriters and actors became reluctant to participate in the Sahara Project. Crusader and Custler stopped communicating. Crusader finally started filming. Custler made several statements to the press disparaging Crusader's screenplay and saying that his readers were bound to be disappointed by the film treatment of the novel. Custler sued Crusader in Superior Court for breach of contract. Crusader filed a cross-complaint against Custler, alleging a breach of the implied covenant of good faith and fair dealing due to his repeated refusals to approve screenplays and his disparaging comments about the film. The jury returned a verdict for Crusader. Custler appealed to the California Court of Appeal.